All right, we're back. It's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a year. <laughs> since last since, year. Since last year. So, happy 2018. Uh, I'm Daryl Hers. I'm Cameron Carpenter. And uh, we're at the Indie Week office. Uh, we were doing these videos last year. We're going to do them uh, continuously throughout the, this year. Uh, Talking shop about indie music, music scene, uh, Toronto around the world, and anything else that we feel like. Exactly. Cool. So with that, to start, uh, let's talk about um, tonight. Tonight we've got a show at the ballroom with Jim Dandy and the Honey Runners. It's a free show. Uh, these are some new shows that we're doing. It's the third Thursday of every month at the ballroom. Uh, Which is at the corner of John and Adelaide. Yep. It's a bowling alley downstairs and a great live room upstairs. It's a really cool space. Yeah, and so uh, tonight's free, so uh, come by if you can, but uh, just mark down the third Thursday of every month we'll be at the ballroom uh, showcasing indie bands. Uh, plus, we're going to be doing some more shows throughout the year, so um, stay tuned for an Indie Week Presents announcement. Uh, just We're looking to keep giving more opportunities for bands to play live um, and bands to build an audience, build awareness, and... Um, community because yeah. uh, Toronto really needs to build its community yeah it really does so and to help to to that end um, applying for Indie Week helps <laughs> applying to Indie Week uh, we have our early bird special on right now it ends on Tuesday so it's only ten dollars you can go to canada.indieweek.com slash apply and I would do it before Tuesday you're gonna save 25 bucks basically right or you're gonna, you're gonna save money it goes yeah. up throughout the year yeah exactly so don't like don't wait until June or July to uh, to apply. Right. So the prices are higher, and there's millions of bands to listen to, and get in early, and we'll have a listen to you now, and it's yeah. all good. It's only ten <laughs> bucks till Tuesday. Yes. After that, it's more. It's so, more. Yes. Just, that's the easy part of it. The dates this year are November sixth to eleventh in Toronto. So, and we're also next week we should have the uh, UK Indie Week uh, UK applications open as well. We'll have the dates for that and where to go to apply to play in Manchester. That's next right. October. Yeah, we're looking for uh, UK applications to open on Thursday. Um, and uh, the other thing to note too is that uh, we're going to be doing some other kind of pro promotions with artists that have applied. Uh, so the earlier you apply, the more opportunities for us to do things. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, you can't talk about them yet because no, uh, they're not all in place yet. But we're building these the great little systems for, and we like to help our bands out all year long. So yes, the earlier you get in, the more we can do for you. Hopefully, absolutely. Um, so I guess uh, we usually talk about what we've done since last week, but it's been since like last October, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to every possible Christmas party in Toronto. You were in South America. Yeah, uh, I was very fortunate. I went on a SEMA trip. Uh, trade mission to South America. Um, I hit, I think it was six conferences slash festivals. Uh, Pulsar in Santiago, uh, Fluvial in Valdivia, those are both in Chile, BAM in Buenos Aires, and then I was at uh, Sim San Paulo, and then uh, Mate in Porto Alegre, and I think I'm missing something that was in there. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a crazy packed 30 days it was like 13 flights in 30 days um, and it was basically non-stop conference festival uh, met a ton of great people and uh, with that said there's a lot in the works for South America opportunities uh, that we're working on and again can't really say anything yet but uh, uh, I, I loved it there and uh, we're gonna have some announcements coming pretty soon. And you saw some of our old friends down there as well? Saw Etno, saw Trampa, saw Missing Takes, uh, reconnected with some industry friends that I hadn't seen in a while, made some new ones. Um, so yeah, there's a, a lot of great stuff coming and I was very fortunate to do, do that trip and uh, I have to say thank you to Robert Singerman from Cab as he was very instrumental in putting everything together. and. And um, he was very gracious in introducing uh, everybody involved to each other and building connections and relationships. So, And in case you missed it, Etno was our winner last year at uh, Indie Week. Yep. And they will be going to Manchester this October. So, 
Yeah, and they just posted a new video of their performance from the Mod Club. So if you go to Etno's Facebook page, you can see their uh, winning performance. E T N O. <laughs> yeah. Very simple. So what else is up? what else? Well, you know, as always, I'm reading books, and uh, this last past year, a, a lot of my friends wrote books, and this is one of them. This is my friend Tom Wilson, who I was uh, very honored to speak with at Indie 101 last year. Got him right at the beginning of his book tour. Um, Outside of his music, this is a fascinating look at his life and the discoveries of his, his life, finding out his family is not necessarily the family he grew up with, discovering mm. a new family, dealing with addiction, being sober for 18 years, and then intertwining a music career throughout it. It's an incredible book called Beautiful Scars, and it's well worth reading, even if you're not a fan of his music, and I think you'll become a fan of the man yeah. after you read it. And it was great to have Tom uh, at Indie 101 last year, and we hope to have other great speakers like him next year as well. We're building that uh, schedule as we speak. Right. Yeah, that would be. Uh, I'm interested in reading the book, so I'll probably dig into that yeah. sometime in the next four months because <laughs> well, I. It's always good on a plane. I'm still working a book <laughs> that I started like a month ago. And we've got a, a lot of our friends from Indie Week are, have upcoming shows in the Toronto area, which we always like to let you know about. Uh, Ezra Jordan will be playing January 26th with Emma Lee at uh, the Drake Underground. And then Ezra's going to be on the launch on CTV on January 31st. The launch is a brand right. new show they just uh, debuted. And Logan Stats won the first episode. His career was launched. Right. And of course, you have a history with Logan. With uh, Well, we all do. Like uh, Ghost, Ghost Town Orchestra, who's yeah. played Indie Week. Who's played, they played uh, some of these other performances that we do. So uh, congrats to Logan, because uh, uh, it's always good to see an artist kind of get that help to that next level and, yeah and uh with these shows you never know what it's going to do but but uh the next day the single was number one on itunes mm -hmm. so and the single that was picked last night is number one on itunes today too so our friends light years were on last night unfortunately oh, nice. their career wasn't launched uh, but um light years will be playing january 31st at the rivoli in a in a show called winter indie which is put on by our friend ryan malik who was mm. also a speaker at Indie 101 last yeah. year on our Health and Wellness Day. And that features a bunch of our friends, uh, Gentlemen and Cowards, Starstruck Avenue, and from oh, the East Coast, the Real North. So that's a great lineup at the Rivoli. Yeah, uh, and I'm pretty 31st. sure he saw all those bands at Indie Week. He probably did. Because <laughs> uh, Starstruck we had in from Montreal. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Royal North, uh, good friends of ours. They've come by a number of times. Mm -hmm. okay. like. We're trying to figure out when they started actually playing Indie Week because it's, I think it's like eight years ago. Wow. Um, but I remember I was actually there uh, with Ryan at the Cherry Colas. And uh, he was very, uh, he was very interested in the band after that performance. And we had a con good conversation about it. So well, that's great. That's what Indie Week's all about is just putting people together and bands together with the right people and people together with the right bands. And yeah. And I just noticed, uh, looks like uh, Jennifer from Mobius is watching. Uh, she just commented, crazy good lineup. <laughs> so shout out to Mobius. Uh, they were one of our showcases last year as well. Yeah, and I think that one of their artists, Marlon, has a new record out right now, or it's coming out very soon. And coming out Marlon soon. Chaplin. Yeah, yeah. So. And then it's a couple other, another uh, old friend of Indie Week, Space Face. Yes. Are going to be at the Baby G, which is a venue we, um, we started to use last year, which I love that venue on Dundas Street Less. Yes. Uh, Space Face is... Um, Flaming Lips. Flaming Lips, guitar player Jake Ingalls. That's right. And a crazy show. We did them at the Piston a couple of years ago. Yeah. So much fun. It's like Halloween. Everyone dresses up, and it's just this huge psychedelic show. It's, and... it's like a carnival circus under a tent, because they actually have a tent kind of parachute thing. Yeah. And uh, a lot of crowd participation. Kind of think like, like if you've been to a Flaming Lips show, you know, like there's a lot of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a, another extension of it. Yeah. Um, Glitter, I think, is there, and confetti, and maybe some balloons. Yeah. Um, some lots of stuff. People dressed as furry animals. And, yeah. That's right. A couple aliens showed up. Yeah. I remember that. Standing in front of the piston on blue or <laughs> little space on a helmets hot and stuff. Summer day. Yeah. It was. It was a very hot summer night. I remember that. It was. It was a Sunday night. Um, and then our, our friends from Glasgow, Single by Sunday, who. Um, have a new single out called Yeah Punk, which is fantastic, and they've just been playing some shows at home. They're coming back to uh, Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa area at the end of February and early March with Was It the Walrus. 
right. who are on Pushcart Records, and Alex at Pushcart did a showcase with us last year as well. So yeah. if you didn't get a chance to see either of those bands at Indie Week, um, watch our website and our, our socials for when they're playing. Cause I expect really big things from Single by Sunday this year. They're just on the point of of breaking out. We named them... It best International Artist. Best Emerging International Artist. Emerging International Artist, yeah. yeah. And um, uh, the one thing about Single by Sunday, I, they really stood out to me in social media. Like, we would announce social, or, or sorry, announce Single by Sunday, and like fans from all over the world yeah. were posting and sharing uh, immediately. Like, we'd get comments like, are they coming to New York? Are they coming to Germany? Um, so, so yeah, they're like one of those young bands that have a young audience that's passionate and yeah. and they're active online. Like Yeah, and it's them online them. as well. When you when you're talking to them, you're talking to them. So I was talking to them yeah. before they came here and so yeah, it, it was uh it was great to see them and and you know uh it'll be cool like to see them come back and see if they've made any changes, new songs, new material and all that good stuff. It was one of those bands that got the most out of Indie Week as well last year. And like every yeah. year there's five or six of those bands who go to every event, they go to every seminar, they work every room, they talk to every other band, they make connections around the world. And Single by Sunday was a great example of that last year. Right, so when are they coming back? They're coming back. The dates haven't been officially announced, end of February, early March. Okay. They're playing a, a conference down in uh, Harrisburg, PA, I think at the end of February, and then coming up our way for five or six dates. So. Excellent. So show uh, details soon. We'll we'll definitely be posting about that. Yeah, and maybe some more. Yeah, cool. What else is on the list of gigs and stuff to watch out for? That's that's it in in, uh, in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure there'll be lots more announced soon. Uh, friends of ours. Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff on the pipeline coming coming up. Um, uh, one thing to note, like we're working on some shows in. Um, May that we're going to hopefully be able to announce in the next two weeks um, and uh, we're also working on Lights Out again. Mm -hmm. I knew I forgot something. Um, Lights Out is an, a, a really cool event that this will be our fourth year I believe. Wow, time flies. Uh, so Lights Out is a charity event. It's uh, presented by Mill Street Brewery and it's all about raising awareness for um, Earth Hour, Earth Day. Uh, so it takes place, hey, Single by Sunday is watching. Hey, guys. Of course they are. Go to bed. <laughs> it's late over there. <laughs> ah, they're young. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, so the thing is like this, this is a, an hour where we get acoustic artists or even bands that normally play full on amped up. But everybody plays acoustic, no power, because it's in support of Earth Hour. It takes place during Earth Hour. And a uh, portion of every Mill Street pint sold at the participating venues that month goes towards a charity. And um, I'm waiting to hear back like with the results of last year, but I know that through the previous years we'd raised over $350,000. Mm -hmm. So, um, and last year we programmed 140 artists in 120 venues across Canada. It was really significant. Yeah. Uh, really impressed uh, with our staff that we were able to do that, like program it all across Canada, uh, take care of all the venues, all the volunteers, all the bands. Uh, and we're starting to put that together for this year. Uh, can't remember the exact date. I believe it's Saturday, March 24th. You're right. And it's at 8.30 at night. The lights go out in the bar. The candles are lit. <laughs> You're not plugged into anything. You've got your guitar, your keyboard, your sax, whatever. Yep. And, and you play for basically an hour with a bit of a break in between, and the lights go back on at 9.30. That's right. And artists do get paid for this, yes. so that's a big bonus. Um, that's one thing a lot of these other opportunities we're looking for is shows that pay artists. Um, and where we select the artists from is usually from the artists who have applied that's our first pool of artists that we go mm. go to. Uh, that way, um, you know, it's kind of like a quick reward, and you know, if if you paid the ten bucks to apply, you have made it back and more. Yeah. So, uh, so there's lots of opportunities, and that is one that's coming up. And so, basically, um, this year, for the most part, it's in Ontario for the lights out. So, if you're an artist that's applied applied to Indie Week so far and you're based in Ontario, there's a good chance that we may call on you to perform at this. 
So, mm -hmm. and it's a great event. Uh, you know, it's uh, again it, the main part is we're raising awareness about conserving power, and that's the main message that we're trying to put out there with it. Saving our Earth, basically. Saving our Earth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and and uh, you know, uh, music has been known to have a really big footprint, like mm -hmm. lights, sound, PA. Private jets. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Hey, I also see uh, Ian from uh, Double Experience on there. Our, pal, our pals from Ottawa. Those, those guys have been killing it. Um, if I can talk about you, Ian, a little bit. Uh, basically, they were in the UK. Uh, they've done some more of the Comic-Con type of, of conventions. And um, they're, they're building their audience right now. And um, it, was really, it was really good to see their progression last year. So, going to kill it this year, right, Ian? So, <laughs> shout out to them. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty I much think it. That's it. But so, uh, so tonight at the ballroom bowl. Tonight at the ballroom. Oh yeah, I might do a couple more live feeds throughout the night. Oh okay. Yeah, we've got a special thing to be at. Oh uh, yes. For the ballroom, I'm not going to say it. Uh, oh, I'm sure we'll talk about it next week. Or, or I'll, like I said, I might be doing yeah. some live feeds. Good point. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I see Sean. Uh, Sean, yes, that is the Ian that I introduced you at Cherry Colas. So, and uh, they're single by Sunday. So, lots of people on our feed today. This is great. Make sure your passports are up to date, single by Sunday, boys, because we're looking forward to seeing you next month. Yes. All right. Uh, so, if you're around today, ballroom. Uh, and stay tuned. We're going to be possibly doing some live feeds tonight, uh, talking to some of the bands and the event that we're going to. Yeah. We might be able to, I have to ask first if we can announce or say anything, of course, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. But, yeah. yeah. And it'll be all good. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, we're going to sign off. See you next week and later tonight and all that. And uh, be good. And, and see apply. you on social. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>